Yeah, no, it was great. Um, I've you know probably come on a bit further than I thought maybe in the last year, um, but no, it's it's been great. Um, it's a big, it's, it's, it's a bit of a testament to the people who've got me here rather than me. And there's a lot of uh, clubs, a lot of people, um, you know, my family who've been a massive support. So them, the likes of uh, Lansdowne and Trinity, my AAL clubs, and then like the uh, Clongos as well. So. Yeah, it's been a good year and um, hopefully we can keep it going now throughout this season. It'll be very modest there, but on a personal level you must be delighted with the, the elevation. Yeah, no, it is, it is good to get a bit of recognition for, for your achievements or your, how you've gone throughout the season. Um, it's not the awards I'm interested in as much so, it, it's, the, it's the team ones I'm interested in, right. but it is, uh, it is good to also get a bit of praise, I suppose. You want to talk about the team, what will a clean sweep this weekend mean to this Ireland team, three wins and three? Yeah, it's massive because I'd say we, if we're all honest, we, we took a step back last or last week against Fiji, and I think you know we've been talking about making sure that we perform uh, better each time we play. Um, so we'll be aiming to to step it up from the performance we put in against South Africa. Um, you know, Australia probably they offer a, a different threat completely than South Africa. They they're quite expansive with their play. Um, lots of very good athletes with the uh, you know. They they move the ball quite quite well, so it'll be a big challenge. They're also a big physical team that we also have to be able to front up to, like we did against South Africa. But um, a good challenge. But we'll be focused on ourselves, getting a better performance. So you want an improvement on the South Africa performance this weekend? Yeah, that is our main goal. I think uh, definitely is. We've been talking about bigger performance in South Africa. Kevin, okay, just on the Fiji performance, what have you been able to identify that went wrong? It's quite a frustrating game in how we started. First of all, them scoring straight away. Uh, we got quite narrow off our kick chase and we obviously knew their main threat was their ability to spread the ball um, incredible athletes one on one ability and then the ability to offload as well so that was disappointing the way we started um, I think what was good from the game was that we were it was obviously a new bunch and quite a few three new caps obviously and the way we were able to stay in the moment and um, there was frustration in that we were very dominant and in their 22 for large periods and didn't convert. Uh, I don't know how many moles we had that we got going forward and were either held up or they got through. Um, so there was that frustration, but at the same time we were next moment and next job focused, which was a positive. Um, like Shino said, we had the same focus last week about improving. Didn't matter who was playing, we wanted a better team performance. So that's the same focus now this week, trying to evolve. The game was very smart. Is there a blueprint there for Australia to, to stop Ireland? But South Africa did it to a lesser extent, where the game becomes very static. Ireland struggled getting to their rhythm. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to play with tempo. Um, not sure if it was intentional or not. There was obviously a lot of unforced errors and knock-ons as well, some that's in our control. So we'll try and deal with that as best we can. Just on a wider point, the nominations obviously for Josh and, and Johnny for the senior player as well in the two boys, that must be a huge fill to the wider group. Definitely, it's a great environment we've got here. Um, we all love being here, we love the way we're playing. Um, it's a good, good group to be involved in. Those guys obviously have been standouts for us over the last 12 months. Um, so yeah, it's an exciting team to be a part of. Dan, it's just over a year since you made your debut on against Japan. Does it feel longer than that that you've been around this Ireland squad? Uh, probably not. You know, the last year has gone so quickly. Um, I've enjoyed every second of it, and you know, when I when I'm looking back over the last year, the amount of things, you know, that I used to be sort of playing at AIL week in week out not so long ago, and and to be here at the top international rugby, it, it's exactly how I dreamed as a kid that this is what this is what it'd be like. So, uh, yeah, no, it's it's been a great year, and I can't wait to to keep going and making sure that I put my best foot forward. And is the road happening quicker than you might imagine? Uh, yeah, uh, a little bit, but at the same time, I knew I was always. I, I guess I just found a bit of confidence in myself and my ability, and 
and you know back double down on my strengths um i think you can spend a lot of time trying to trying to fix the things that maybe you're not so good at but if if you really focus on the things you're good at and make sure make sure that they become maybe a world class thing you, you know you, you might get your foot in the door so um yeah i think that's probably the main thing the confidence uh, in my game and and probably injury free as well which has also been a huge help uh, the last two years and what value like as a coach uh, yeah, great you know he's the environment he's created um, throughout the whole squad the backroom staff is is something I'm probably not used to I haven't really seen it like that um, but you know the way he's able to switch from being your mate uh, to being your coach and telling you exactly what, how it is um, is something we all enjoy and, and you know the environment around camp the way we enjoy our time off um, you know it, it's a great balance I think everyone's enjoying it yeah, the environment is something that most of you have always said in these press conferences. Caelan, for you, I think it's nearly three years since you made your debut. What was the biggest change, would you say, from when you made your debut to being a part of this squad now? What differences are there in the Irish squad? Um, my debut was Andy's first game, so it's kind of it was the start of the, inv the building of the environment and the building of this new group. Um, there's a few new faces, obviously, Paulie's come in since then. Um, but from the start, it was kind of like Sheena said there, the balance between being on and preparing really well and helping each other to prepare well, but then when we're off, enjoying each other's company, getting to know each other on a deeper level. Um, the balance between those has been a focus from the start, and I think in a way the COVID period probably helped with that just because we were forced to spend more time with each other. Um, so we got to know each other better, and uh, those relationships grew, which obviously means better crack off the pitch, but also probably helps on it, or definitely helps on it as well. Can I just, can I just ask you, uh, this is the first time to my knowledge that there's been proper, um, both the national sides are here at the one time, have you had any interaction with them? And have you played soccer, I don't know, between Mayo and Blackrock, do you get to play soccer off? Or all the time you can do the show and point thing, I hate football. <laughs> you first. Uh, I'm not mad into the football, and we, we probably haven't crossed paths just quite yet. Um, no, we wish them all the best in their, their next game against Denmark, but um, I wouldn't be the mad. I'm a slight Spurs fan but at the most, but I, w I wouldn't be huge into the football. Uh, I used to love football since Black Rock. It's kind of faded away. Uh, I used to play for Clal AFC back in the day, back in Mayo. Bit of a free kick taker the left foot, but um, that wouldn't be, wouldn't be much use these days. I mean, do you expect to, to sort of go into the car park or... or, 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 or would you like to bump into them in the car park? I mean, they are here. And the, 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 there's a great focus on our sport this weekend, Saturday, Thursday, Saturday. Yeah, it's cool all being in the same area. I think they're a little bit further away. So, back there. is that right? Yeah, <laughs> well, we haven't come across them yet. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like Shane said, we wish them the best of luck as well. It's cool to be pre preparing for big games together. Thanks. Cheers. Cool. Hey, Caelan, I want to just ask about um, his nomination. What have you seen from him, even in? I've been playing together for a few years now, but in the last 12 months since he came on in the international scene, what kind of world have you seen? Um, yeah, quite a lot. I think from watching him at 20s and stuff, he was always, we played 20s together, so I've been playing for a while now, but he's always been capable of big moments and obviously a great athlete, so um, that's always been there, his, whatever his runs and his footwork, but I think all the kind of smaller bits has grown quite a bit and um, he's just become a lot more solid and developed in all areas from set piece like scrummaging to his defense all those bits are coming together nicely as well so um, this sort of solid base with all the extra stuff he's uh, capable of doing so uh, yeah himself and Ronan Keller I'm, I'm living with Ronan Keller so I have to give him a shout out as well but uh, yeah two quality players and the other guys we have here as well uh, Dan, just going back to the um, the 2019 World Cup, obviously Roy Best retiring. Did you, at any stage around that time, sense there was maybe an opening coming up in the national team and have have ambitions to to be the one to, to fill that spot? I think always as a kid, I I pictured myself playing for Ireland, but um, I'd say around that time I was focusing on making sure I was getting a, an academy contract. Um, I was playing 20s and didn't have an academy contract at that time, um, so I. I think I did a good job trying to play it step by step. I knew that was the next next step I had to take, so I focused purely on trying to to impress and answer in my province. And then when that came about, it, it was about trying to get into the senior team. And you know, I did a good year of just na like nailing the basics with Leinster and trying to trying to build myself up. Um, so 
from that from that aspect, I think it was it was making sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself. It's easy to, you know, if I was to be looking at an Irish jersey at that stage, it would, you'd be jumping a lot of people um, with no right to do so. I think it was a step by step. And Caelan just mentioned Ronan there. Obviously, Ronan came in, started very well, was a bit unfortunate with the injury. Given that you two are a very similar age, did you feel like you might have to patient, uh, be patient given how well he did start in the, in the Ireland shirt? Yeah, no, Ronan's an unbelievable player. Um, we probably play quite similar at times, and and you know the, the way we've been able to work together, train together. He was he's, just, he's the exact same age as me. Um, he was probably got a, a good head start. He he played a twenties a year above me, or with the year above. Um, but you know, I think he's you know um, like the two of us have been able to push each other really hard. Um, you know, I'd like to say that the two of us wouldn't be here or at the standard we are if we didn't have each other because it's it is good competition. But we are also best mates and. So you know, I'm glad that to have someone my age that I can bounce ideas off. Um, he was he was walking through the same door as me, basically. And just one final one. Going back to the South of Six Nations this year, obviously you not made a, a test start at that point. What did you, or how did you envisage this year going? At? I'm sure you didn't imagine playing three games in New Zealand and beating the world champions as well, and starting all of those. Yeah, like we talk about in the squad all the time that you know it's it's a squad effort. Um, you know, Faz would have always said you need to be if you're first, second, third choice, fourth choice, you have to be ready to step up within a week. Um, you know, like we we talk about going into a World Cup, we're gonna need a, probably a squad of fifty players for this season, you know, depending on injuries, it could it could go down to third, fourth, fifth choice. Um so that's the sort of mindset I was in back then when I was probably on the bench or like myself and Rob Herring were probably trying to battle it out for a spot on the bench. Um was making sure I was ready to, to step up if, if needed. Um then Roe went down and in, in the France game and and from there on, you know, I, I felt comfortable. I I felt like I'd I'd done the work, I felt like I had the right to be there. Um so I, it wasn't too um scary I suppose or you know, I didn't feel out of my depth. I felt very comfortable in the squad that I that I had around me and, and and the preparation that was put in. Great, thanks very much. All good? Okay. Easy. Thank you. Right. Cheers. Thank you. I'm just going to ask you very politely to all leave the room. So we can try this